Well, today was opening night for Lights Before Christmas at the Toledo Zoo, and WTOL 11 brought you live coverage throughout the day. And while may, uh, many may have focused on the lights, for others, it was a way to connect with loved ones. And Laura Sandlin joined us live from the Toledo Zoo. Laura, I understand you spoke with some folks about the experience. What do they have to say about it tonight? Dan, Kaylee, it was an absolutely magical here day at the Toledo Zoo. Friends, family, and folks from all over came just to celebrate the lights. But they all came with the same goal in mind of making memories. The lights before Christmas at the Toledo Zoo has been a tradition since 1986. My son and I are lucky to get a front row seat every year. Joan Legro has been coming to the zoo since she was two years old, nearly 80 years ago. A volunteer for the past 20 years and working the lights for the last 10, Joan says while the animals keep her there, the lights are special. But even aside from the animals, people come and enjoy the lights and the activity. And of course, Santa's here and all kinds of extra things going on. Jugglers and big tall people and lots of excitement. Featuring over a million lights and bringing some light to days that get dark early, it's an event for all ages. Yes, I love high five. So we're here with the family. I have my two, my three kids and my wife, and we're actually uh, with a bunch of friends from Michigan, met here in Toledo, and we're uh, walking through looking at the lights. Matt Sokol, a Cleveland native, says he and his family hit the road, a nearly two-hour drive, just for the lights. Perfect night. It's, it's cold. It's starting to change for the holiday season. So it's actually just the perfect night with all the lights, the music. He says while the lights were impressive for him and his wife, it was about spending time with their kids and finding magic in the simple things. It's all about memories. I mean, growing up when I was a kid, some of my best memories were spent with my parents and my family doing stuff like this. So for my wife and I to be able to pass that down to our kids, that's what it's all about. Sokol says that he and his family plan to make the Toledo Zoo an annual part of their yearly trips, and he says that the memories they've made today have been absolutely priceless. Reporting live outside the Toledo Zoo, Laura Sandlin, WTOL 11.